This conference will now be recorded. Hey, hi everyone. So today we are going to work on how to uh, embed a video into section. So we're going to see how to embed video into section. So if you want to embed a video into section, you have to use a control called video. So using this video control, we can include a video into our user interface. So generally, what is the need of including or integrating videos into your applications? That is, let's say if, if you're if you're a customer of any of like an insurance product that you're owning. So you wanted to give a demonstration of the insurance product when the customer comes and uh, when they're looking for the insurance on your application. So during that time, you can just go ahead and display it a uh, demonstration video. It's like a tour of what they're going to get in the package. So like that, you can go ahead and create a video. So when you uh, in integrate a video into your application. So whenever user comes and they play this video, they will come to know exactly what they're going to get the benefits from your insurance product or whatever the business that you are owning. So that's how general demonstration videos or it can be any other business videos that we can go ahead and integrate into your applications by using a video control. So as a developer, we are going to use the video control and we are here the configuration of the video control is you need a source url of the path so this path which we're going to give here it should be the path of a video where you have uploaded so generally the videos we can go ahead and upload into uh, binary files so we have to go ahead and create a binary file rule under technical category so after you create binary file rule in the technical category so that binary file rule path you you have to go ahead and mention here under the path and coming to the presentation, it is mandatory that you mention a poster image of your video. So whenever your video is being integrated along with the video, you also have to go ahead and mention one poster image that can be any image of any size or it can be a custom size which you need to upload. That is also mandatory. So for this also, we need to create one more binary file rule. So total, we have to create two binary files rule. One is with image and the one is with video. And these two binary rules after you create, you can go ahead and configure this video uh, control in order to just integrate that into your application so let's go ahead and customize this section so where we are going to integrate uh, our video control and we are going to create binary file rules and uh, let's see how it how it is going to play at runtime so let's go ahead now and create binary files rule file rules first So here the name of this role is Harsha Trainings and application directory as you know WebWB is the application directory and file extension is uh, MP4. So WebWB is the application directory and file extension is MP4 which we're going to use. So let's go ahead create and open. I will go ahead with this one. Okay create and open. So here you need to upload the video, browse. So this is the video MP4 and upload file. So once you save this, the uploaded video will be visible to you just to see. So the one which you have uploaded, if you want to download, you can just go ahead and click on download file here. So you click on download file, say OK, and here you go with, so the, this is the video that has got uploaded. Okay, just for testing, I've done that. So similarly, just go ahead and create one more. This is a short findings web WB and file extension. I think I have a file with PNG. So let's go ahead here png this is the extension of the file create and open so you upload that image now so the image name can be anything
upload file and then save this to preview the image and then if you want to test it you can go ahead and click on download and then save okay so you can see here this has been downloaded so that means your upload is successful it gets open anyway i don't want to see that again here you go so these are the two things that we have created harsha trainings png and here you go with harsha trainings mp4 that is the video so let's go ahead now and uh, open our user interface and integrate this video into our ui so i do not want to go ahead and create a new section here i don't want to do that i just wanted to customize the existing one to avoid creating again and again multiple sections this is just for uh, demonstration here you go with i'm just removing everything here okay here you go with data display video get the video control so double click on this and here source url is a property reference or path i want to go ahead with path web wb that is what this one this conference will now be recorded so here you go ahead and give web wb uh, web wb slash so what is the video name you can take this is the video short runnings dot mp4 this is the video all user controls yes auto play means it will be automatically played whenever the ui is displayed loop means it will be played and then again looped one more time it will be played mute yes so no i don't want to mute so preload auto so you go to presentation tab after this and the path here web wb for the image slash harsha trainings dot png dot png and you can specify a custom width if you want to specify like 400 500 600 700 pixels so it's up to you if you can also go ahead with normal this one uh, auto size save and i'm going to check in this So you just go ahead and create a case. So here, the video is going to get played. So you can center align this video. Thank you. 